Hello fellow people, my name is Cheng Wing Yin Giovanni. Today I'll be talking about Peter McKinnon and photography as my digital artifact for BCM 241 Media Ethnographies. So today I'll cover an intro on my media niche, what I've learned, and showcase some of my work. Like I mentioned from the beginning, my name is Giovanni Chang, or Gio for short. I am currently a university student at UOWCHK doing my bachelor's in communication and media. I enjoy playing video games, playing sports, but more importantly, I am an aspiring photographer. And this is why I chose to do photography and Peter McKinnon as my DA. Now, you've heard me say Peter McKinnon a lot in the last few minutes. So, who is he? Well, Peter McKinnon is a professional photographer slash videographer based in Toronto. He's well known on YouTube as a content creator, currently having about 5.5 million subscribers who tune into his content. I chose to do photography because I found it really fun, and over time, I found meaning to it. With photography, I love capturing moments. These frozen moments are portals to memories at a certain time. Aside from that, I thoroughly enjoy editing photos as well. There's something amazing about manipulating photos to whatever, whatever you want it to look. Photography also allows me to show the world what I see through my lens. For example, everyone sees things from eye level, and I find it to be my job as a photographer to show people unique perspectives in the way they see things. Now, Peter has been one of the greatest inspiration in photography and also in life because of his positive attitude. He also has fantastic tutorials to help me get better at my own craft, and sometimes I just watch his YouTube videos just to de-stress. Among the many things I have learned from Peter McKinnon, this is definitely the one tip that has stuck with me for a long, long time. It's such an incredible tool to use when editing photos with the subject. Let me allow Peter to explain on his own. So a radial mask really lets you zone in, really lets you focus in, drive focus towards a sweet spot of a photo. Maybe it's the product, maybe it's a certain part of a portrait's face or a certain area of a landscape, but a radial mask really dials in on a specific area. But on top of that, it's twofold, because what it also lets you do is just illuminate a certain area without affecting the entire background. So like this instance of coffee, if I only wanted the kettle and the pot to be a little bit brighter, Brighter, but I don't want to adjust the exposure of the whole photo and have everything get brighter, then I can just apply a radial mask to those two items and increase their brightness without affecting anything around it. By clicking that invert button, you're able to invert it and affect everything but the coffee pot and the mug. That's why this tool is so, so useful. And it's super easy to do. You're just clicking this button here, you draw your mask, you can change the shape of the mask, and then you're just affecting the exposure or the contrast or all of these settings down the right side here just for what's inside that masked area. When you're happy with that, you're just left to feathering it and hitting OK. The best way to explain feathering is to imagine a spotlight. Now, its design is to specifically light up a target area. It's a directional, super bright beam of light. Its edges are harsh. So feathering is gonna take that harsh spotlight and make the edges softer so that the whole scene just appears to be less of a directional beam of light. Brushes those edges out, blends them in, lights the whole scene, makes it subtle. It's a nuance, it's delicate. It makes that image way better when you feather it out without that obvious shape of brightness. Now you can also use a linear mask, which is the exact same thing, it's just... As you can see here on my own edit, I'm currently using the radio filter to my advantage to help isolate the subject and create focus on it. This way, it prevents leading yours or other viewers' eyes to the background or anything else aside from this delicious plate of pasta. Here are other examples of my work that showcase my photos with Peter's teachings. So using the radio filter, I managed to add focus to my subject, darken the surrounding, and really make the subject pop. More examples. 
And to finish this off, this is my Instagram page where I post my photography work. So feel free to follow me there. And that is it for this video. Catch you guys next time. Thank you.